Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Hey, good. So I hope you're not just, um, I hope you're not just on your bed. <laughs> that was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay awesome i think okay so it's six o'clock but let's let's give it one two more minutes <laughs> um just to see if someone else signs up before i start Okay, where do I see? Okay, hi Christine, thank you for joining. Okay, so I'm not too sure. I think as you come on, I'll probably see your names. Okay, so, in any case, so let's start. So, welcome. I'm really glad you decided to join me tonight and I hope that, uh, that, you, that you have fun. Um, but before we start, so I'm certain that you guys don't have any injuries or that, that you aren't feeling unwell. But if you are, please don't partake in tonight. And if any, at any time you feel dizzy or faint or unwell, then please stop. Or if you feel any discomfort, then please stop the activity. Um, there's one exercise we're going to do today that's optional, but when I get to it, I'll tell you about it. And um, so just have your water ready, your knee pads and a pair of socks, um, just to be able to glide more easily on the floor. All right, so let's get started. Um, let's get ready with our warm up. Okay, so. We're just going to start by mobilizing the upper body, so looking left to right. Engage the core, so pull the navel in towards the spine. And then tuck the pelvis slightly, slight bend in the knee, shoulders back and down. So there's a lot of space for your neck to move. Half circles. Good. Now let's just take the hands together, clasp them together and roll the wrists. So just little pulses, little rolls like this. And then change direction. Let's go to the other side. Good. And then let's add a wave. So we're just waking up the shoulders, the elbows, getting the flow. And then let's change directions. Pretty sure I did do that. <laughs> okay, and then shoulder roll. So again, here yeah, keep the tummy nice and tight. Just rolling the shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Activating the back of the shoulders. And rolling them forward. Tummy is nice and tight. Okay, we're going to try and loosen up the spine a little bit. So we're just going to roll the head forward. Take the back. Head back and then round the spine as you go forward and arch the upper back as you go to the back. Keep a bend in your knees. So just opening up. And then let's change direction. So rounding, tuck the chin, open up the chest. Tuck the chin as you round. Bend in the knees. Good, and come up. Let's add a bit of a hip, a hip roll. So just waking up the lower back, to the left, to the front, to the side, and to the back. So really exaggerate this pelvic tilt. So to the back, tuck under, engage the core, squeeze the back muscles. 
and to the other way. Good. Okay, one arm is up. We're going to go to the same side. So just falling like a puppet to the same side, opening up this left side of the body. And one more. Good. Other arm up. This one comes down and just falling to the side. Good job. Take a nice deep breath in. Last one. Excellent. Arms go up to the sides. Okay, we're going to do a half circle. So we're going to go forward, around, and up. So when I turn to the side, I'm actually turning at the waist and then rolling up. You can bring the arms in. So opposite arm comes up. Good. Let's do two more. Last one. Stay at the top and change direction. So just nice big circles. And also circling the arms as we go around. And one more. Good. Okay. Reach the arms up for me. We're going to... Sorry, place the hands next to your waist. We're going to roll the spine down. So I am still actively engaging my core, not just letting my tummy hang, my back arch, because that's quite dangerous. So we want up, engage the core here, and then round the spine down, like the chin, and roll back up. And again, tummy is pulled in, bend the legs, and Rolling back up. Let's do one more. And then rolling back up. Arms overhead. We're going to dive down this time. Bend the knees at the bottom. Come up in a straight back. Straighten those legs. Bend and roll up. And going down. Straight back. And rolling down. Good. Legs nice and wide. Grab the tips of your elbows. Fold forward at the waist. And just lean forward. So keeping the weight in front of the toes. Make sure that you still have contact on your heels. And just give me small bounces here. Up and down. Just like this. Okay. Just to feel the stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Now we're going to take it to the side. So I want you to bend your right knee, lengthen the left leg, and just swing the body side to side. This doesn't have to be a big stretch. We're just waking up the muscles. And side to side. Good. Now, hold it for me in the center. Legs are apart. Press the elbows into the knees. Walk the feet closer together. And press the knees away. Don't sink into a deep lunge, into a deep squat. Rather stay here in this plie. It requires a bit more work. Make sure your big toes are still in contact with the floor that you're not tilting out on the feet. Good, press them out. Straighten the legs and sit back down. And up and down. And up and down. And two more. Bring the ass up to the ceiling. And one down. So open that leg for me. So now we're quite nice and deep. All right. So from here, we're going to just walk ourselves to the other side, sitting nice and deep. And back and to the left. And each time that you go over, you're sitting a little deeper. Okay, we're going to open up into our lunge. 
So turn, both feet facing towards your right side. Turn back, walk the hands, switch over and turn. Long lunge, back leg straight. Turn back, walk over and switch. Walk over and switch. And walk over, switch. Bring this arm up, twist in the torso, look up towards the ceiling. Come back down to the other side. In your long lunge, open up towards the bent knee. Twist, feel the stretch of the hip. And back down. Twist. Good. Twist. Now bring the arm behind you. And back to center. Up and behind you. Good. Back to center. Up and behind you. I hope that you're not hearing those messages come in on my phone. I put it on vibrate only, so I hope it isn't bothering anyone now. Last one. Okay, good. Nice and open. Let's bring the feet together. If you've got a mat, take it out real quick. Otherwise, just on the floor is fine. It's just a bit more comfortable on the mat. So, we're going to do a quick ab sequence just to wake up your core. So, when we start doing all the fast flowing movements, we don't hurt the spine because it's nice and warm. So, sorry, let's start seated. Okay, so feet are flat on the mat. We're going to do a half roll back. Knees are in line of your hips, about hip distance apart, just smaller than the shoulders. Okay, from here, palms are slightly facing up, shoulder blades are down, and together, tuck the chin slightly. Now, pull in the belly to create this C curve in your lower abdomen, and start to roll your lower back to the mat. Okay, good. Only as far as about here. Now, tuck under, pull the tummy in, and roll the spine back up. So we're slowly lowering the spine down, keeping the shoulders up, pull back and down, hold it here, inhale, exhale, roll the spine back up to a straight um, position. And tuck the pelvis, so pull the belly button in towards the spine, rolling the lower back down, and hold. Inhale, exhale, roll back up for me. Straight spine, keep the feet on the floor, tuck the pelvis and pull the tummy in, rolling the spine down. Pull the tummy in even more, press the feet into the mat and come back up to seated. Okay, I'm going to lower back down onto the mat. I want you to bring up one leg to the ceiling. Hold onto your calf. Bend the other knee, bring it up, and take it down. Okay, so from here, lift the head and shoulders off the mat and switch the legs. Keep the head and shoulders off the mat and switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. So control this movement, try not to rock in the pelvis, just switching the legs. Also, don't lower the leg further than when your back starts to arch. If your back starts to arch, lift the leg up. Let's do one, two, three, pull the belly button in, five, and take it up. Good. Okay, let's turn on to our sides. We're just going to go into a quick plank. Let's do staggered stance, bottom leg in front, lift up for me into a side plank. Imagine there's a little string tied to your waist and it's lifting you up to the ceiling. And hold for 10, 9, 8. Press those hips forward for me. Make sure your pelvis isn't tilted backwards. Bring it forwards. 3, 2, 1. Good. Lower down, 
onto your tummy, come up onto your knees and your hands. Okay, bring the hips forward, so you're not up here, but booty in the back, hips are drawn down, we're just going to come into a push-up, so lowering the chest to the floor, just for four, three, keep the tummy nice and tight, don't arch on the lower back, and one more, good, change to the mm -hmm. other side, we're going to go into a side plank on the other side, so just lifting up, take the arm overhead, scoop under, there's a string tied to your waist, pulling your hips up, and hold for 10, 9, 8, hips are facing forward, they're not open, 2, 1, and lower back down, good, so you're nice and warm now, you can move the mat to the side, grab a sip of water, and then I'll go through the first sequence with you. Today's routine is not going to be um, very sensual, very sexy. Today we're going to do a bit more contemporary, more flow. So we still bring in some elements that can come across as sexy, but we're going to try a different style of movement or floor work. Okay, so for this one, we can start, again, I'm going to start us on our knees. Unlike last time I sat on my heels, today I'm actually taking my, my feet out to the side. So I'm sort of like placing my um, heel on the inside of my, of my glute, so that I'm not sitting on my glutes. This gives me a bit of more balance to move more freely with my upper body. Okay, so just make sure you've got your knee pads on for this from here on in. Okay, so once you're in this position, you can place your hands on your knees for more balance. And then we're just gonna go to the left. So really bring your torso as far as you can. So exaggerate the movement. So to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Okay. Now when I go to the left, I bring my arm up. So my right arm comes up to my left shoulder. And if I go to the right, I bring my left arm to my right shoulder. Okay. So it's going to be left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Now I'm going to dip. So I'm going to, from the right hand side, I'm going to fall forward and round and arch and again and arch okay so that is actually why socks help a lot because i've got quite bony feet so they do help a lot if you um, have sore feet okay so once we go around and we go around on the last one we come up so we come up right arm up Okay, so let's try it from the beginning. We're going to go left, right four times, and then we're going to place our right hand on our left shoulder and then left hand, right shoulder. Okay, so going left, going right, going left, going right, going left, right hand, going to the right, left hand. Circle, so use your head, use your neck, look down, come up reach open so this right arm comes up so on that last circle instead of coming back to the right side we just go up to the top okay and then we're going to bring this arm down we're going to come down and fall to the floor so a little bit more poetic all right so let's try that together going down to the floor so legs are open, knees are, I mean feet are slightly turned out. Okay, we're going to go left and right and left and right. 
right arm comes up, left arm comes up, circle around, circle around and come up with the right arm. Take the arm behind and fall forward to the floor. Okay, good. Let's try it with music real quick. See how that feels. Okay. So I don't know if you had time to see Mosquito. I don't know if you had time to see uh, the song, but it is Gimme Love from Ed Sheeran. Or Sheeran, I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname. It's uh, Position. Let's go left, right, left, right. Arm, arm, circle, up. Circle, reach, and fall. Good. So it's slow. We'll pick up just now. Okay. So once we've fallen, you land here. This arm is just going to land on the floor. It's going to be in a bit of a bent position so that you have strength to push from it when you need to. Okay, so once we have, we come here, we're just going to push off this arm to come up to seated. So pushing off this arm, stroking this arm up towards the shoulder, up, and then take it over again. So you're going to lie here, drag the hand up, over, to bring this leg, once you're over, you're going to bring this leg, you're going to come onto this knee, bring this leg over into a lunge, a long lunge position. So, we are, we are here, we press up, bring the arm up, over, bring that leg forward, and reach up to the ceiling. Okay, so it's almost like this hand comes back to bring this leg forward and reaching up to the ceiling, taking that back leg further back. Okay, then once we are there, we'll come back down. Um, I think we should first try that lunge just one or two times so you can get that one. Um, in your memory book okay so once we come up here let's start here this arm is up this arm is down now you're just going to take the arm down to allow yourself to fall forward okay from there bring the arm up over as I come over I'm already standing up come forward and reaching up again Okay, so now that we are here, bring this arm down. As we bring this arm down, we bring this leg in. So it's good to actually keep this hand on the floor. So we are here. Bring this arm down, bring this leg in. So you notice I pointed my foot, or I went onto my foot just to give myself a bit of leverage to come in. So when I'm here, you can even have the foot pointed there already. So reaching up, bring the hand in, bring the leg in. Okay, so we're in this position. Let's try that from the beginning. Okay, you can try both the music, it's quite nice. Find your starting position. Four, three, two, one, and left. Okay, so it's 
practice that one more time of alpha music. Okay, so we're just going to go left and right and left and right. Left arm comes up, right arm comes up, circle around, circle around and reach up to the ceiling. So I'm actually pressing my hips as far forward as I can. Now I take the arm mm -hmm. back to allow myself to come down. Bring this arm up, over, this leg comes forward, reaching up. Bring this arm down to seated. Okay, let's take it to the next section and then we'll try it with music again. So once we are here, we're going to roll to the right. I think I should come over a bit. We're going to roll over to the right. So when I do this roll, I'm going to do it from the other side so you can see what I mean. So when I do this roll, I roll forward and then I roll onto my thighs. So I'm not rolling on my knees. I'm actually just rolling on my thighs. So I'm in this twisted position. Bring the legs from out of under you. Lift them up, bent and then just roll onto your thighs over to the other side. So from the front, it looks like this. So we landed, we were here, we brought this leg in, we landed here. Take this arm to your outside, bring this arm across, unhook the feet, roll the legs to here. So now my feet are facing to my right side. We can try that just now, but just to add to this, because once you learn these two together, it'll be quite easy. So I land like this. I place both hands behind my back. I lift my hips up so that when I lift my hips up, I can bring my legs around to the other side. Okay, so let's try it from the lunge. So we are here. Okay. Up onto the toe. We are there. We bring the arm down, leg in. Around, onto the tummy. Hands go behind your back. And you lift your hips so that you can circle your feet underneath you. Okay, and then we're just going to spin it all the way around so that we land in the seated position. Okay, so... So we try that from, let's try from the lunge. Okay, so I think let's try it, let's, sorry, let's try it from the floor getting into the lunge. That's probably the hardest, maybe the hardest part. Okay, so leaning forward, you're going to press up, bring the arm overhead. Bring the arm up, as you bring the arm up, you start to lift onto your knees. Bring, sorry, bring the leg forward into your lunge. Okay, now bring the hands down into this pretzel position. Roll over onto the knee, onto the thighs and around to here. Okay, let's try that one more time. So, we are lying on the floor. We press up Bring the arm overhead and reach to the ceiling. Bring the foot in, roll over onto the thighs and around and to here. Okay, so I hope it doesn't feel too hard and that you can work it in. So just remember that when you land here after you've rolled onto your thighs and you are here you just came over from the roll land feet are on the floor this hand immediately comes over lift up the hips to slide the feet underneath you okay so you do need a bit of good hip extension here um, to really bring your bum off the floor. 
and you obviously need a good amount of strength to press your hands up but it's mostly coming from the hip okay so hip up it goes around then once we are here we just use our hands to spin us around into this wide leg position okay so once we are here we spin ourselves around just a quarter circle to here yeah, wide leg position okay let's try from the beginning with the music and let's see how that feels okay so i'm sitting four three two one and left right left right left arm goes up right arm goes up round circle open up the chest round come up into the section arm goes back fall to the floor bring your arm up fluent it will look and the more the faster you can do it without, look, without looking too choppy so i'm going to try and slow it down so that we can still follow each other all right so now we've reached this position okay legs are nice and wide so i'm open up in, I'm, I'm opened up here and i try and keep a really really straight spine almost as if I'm getting a nice little arch in my lower back so it has this beautiful effect okay but I can't do much here in this position so it's merely a pose and then I'm going to slide my feet forward so that when I do I create space for my torso and my hips to move okay so basically I place my hands on the inside of my thighs I get this beautiful long straight spine then I slide forward and I bring my torso in between my legs rounding opening up the chest rounding opening up the chest so we're only going to do two of those once we've done two so we come with our last one we come up you can use your hands to close your legs okay so you can close your legs and then you take one arm to the back Followed by the other, so that you can slide <laughs> your hands down, and then you start to bring your chest down. So, initially, I don't know how dirty my floor is of all the dog hair, they shed like crazy, so this didn't want to do black, but we're going to do black now. Okay, so, so this, close the legs in, take the one arm back, take the other arm back slide the hands away from you while you open up your chest and bring the back of your head to the floor so we've got this arch in the lower back and then you can take your shoulders and rest them on the mat on the floor take your arms up and cross the elbows over each other like this just to take the arms over and then as we bring the arms next to our sides we tuck the pelvis bring the legs up to the top so let's do it from let's do it from the foot to the spin two circles and then down into our pin up goal playback all right so from here we're going to go back around spin hands in between the legs gives you that little bit of cheat to get that really really straight spine let the feet go forward as you start to round and up and round and up close the legs one two slide them back shoulder blades are touching the mat 
Bring your arms overhead, take them down to your sides and lift and lift both feet up to the ceiling. Okay. Okay, let's add that next part and then we'll do it to music. So up to the ceiling. Now you're going to just take them next to each other and you're going to start to walk them out. So if you've never done a walk, it's actually quite easy. I'm going to, put, I'm going to teach you with one leg first. So you just take the leg back, so straight leg back, and then you bend it, and you bring it back in. Back, bend, straighten, back, bend, straighten. But just do this with one leg for a few times. Okay. Now once you've got that feeling of straight, bend, straighten, you're going to incorporate the other leg. So this leg goes back, bends. As it pulls in, this one goes back. Bends, straighten, pull, bend, straighten, pull, bend, straighten, pull. And we just keep doing this. So it's pulling the knee in, this one's pushing away, but we'll just call it pull, straighten and bend, pull, straighten and bend. So once you start doing this, you get this effect. Then you can start to add a bit of a hip swivel, which I think in my opinion doesn't, you don't really see it too much from the side, nor from the back. So for example, if I was here, you would see it more. And basically all that I'm doing is I'm just, as I'm bringing my hip in, as I'm pulling in, I hike up and I hike up. It's almost like walking, if you were to walk with a sway, you know, hip swivel. So you can add that when you take the leg back, bring this leg in, this hip comes up. And then you straighten and you neutralize the pelvis back into neutral. Um, sorry, bring this leg in and this hip hikes. So whether you add it, it doesn't matter. If you're just here, keeping both hips in line, it's okay. Okay. So we're going to do that. Let's, um, let's start from legs around into the, into the lay back, into the walk, and then we'll sit up. Okay, so hands behind your back, swivel the feet around into this wide leg position, straight spine. Feet goes forward, round for two circles. Close the legs back and back. Lie back. Good. Arms overhead. Feet up into the air and walk it out. So one, two, three, four. And on the fifth one, the right leg, the first leg that we started, the fifth one, sorry, you, you, you swing this leg forward so that it propels you up. Press into your hands so that you can help you to come up. And then when you do, arch the lower back. So normally it's not very safe for the spine to do it this way, but when we are dancing, we are gonna try and accentuate it. So if you do have a um, sensitive low back, then don't add the arch. Okay, so if you've got any back pain in the past, rather don't, but keep the tummy tight as you do it. So that you don't just rely on that momentum to bring you up. Okay, so take the legs up, let's walk it for one, two, sorry, three, four, right leg goes down, up, into a seated position, back up into my sit up position. Okay, now let's try that from the beginning. Okay, so finding your position, your comfortable position here. Yeah? We're going to take it left, right, left, right, right arm comes up, left arm, circle, and circle, up, take the 
yarn back and fold forward. Bring this arm up, around, reaching up. Enjoyed that. Once you get the flow going, it's actually quite nice. Okay, then add the last bit. So we land up in the sit up. Now I'm going to roll to my right side. I'm going to roll over so that when I land, I land on my knees. I bring this knee, this knee stays on the floor, and I'm just going to press up into this supported side lunge. Okay. Once we are here and you're reaching nice and long, so reaching really, really long through the body, lift this leg up, hold it, then bring it back down. Okay, so it's there, lift it up, come back down and spin that way. Okay, so if you are on your left knee, then you go sit back down onto your left knee and you bring your right leg around to face that way. Um, and then when you land this way, you can just go forward and there. I was going to add the very last move as a back roll, but I think we're running short on time, so it might be too long to teach you that one. So I think let's stop there. Um, I'll incorporate the shoulder roll in the next time. But we'll stop here at a beautiful end. So we've got a few minutes to just dance it in the beginning. Okay, so just before we go, let's do the last section. So we came up, we are here. After we came up from our leg up, okay, we roll over onto our knees into a side lunge, lift up. Come back down, swing the legs forward and up, and we'll end there. Okay, let's do it from the beginning. I think this part is actually quite easy. We can do one more time just so you get the feeling. Okay, so taking the legs down, this leg is up, this one walked and bent. Now, press into the floor. Bring yourself up, roll over into your side lunge, lift up, lower back down to that side and folding forward back up to center. Let's try that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what? Four, three, two, tummy tight, left, right, left, right, right arm comes up, left arm comes up, circle, and circle, reaching up, take the arm over to the floor. Come up, help yourself into this lunge. Into your pretzel, roll it over. So do I let them go? Into the sit. Sorry. Into the sit. Okay, now feet forward. Round. Round. Knees together. Roll the arms back, slide down. 
arms over the head, to the sides, and lift up the legs. Give a little time to me. Follow me in the end. Okay, I'll we'll start from the beginning again. So, okay. Starting sideways and left, right, left, right. The right arm comes over, left arm comes over. And round and round, reaching up. Take the arm down and fall. Give me love, I can. Red soul. Roll over. Feet around. Sit. Feet forward, rounding. Drops on my shirt. Do a cool down, uh, and then and then you can go home and practice this this week. It's difficult to follow initially, especially floor work. It doesn't just come naturally. Um, you have to put in the time. But I promise you, on your second turn, it feels a lot easier, and by the third one, you really start to make it flowing. So and you make it your own. You know that's the important part. I might say bring your arm up here, but for you. It might be, you know, a different tempo. Use a different song. You can adapt it all the time. And yes, make it your own. Okay, so I hope you had fun with that one this week. Um, let's just quickly open up the legs. I'm going to do it from the side so that you can just see. And we're going to lift this arm up to the ceiling and I'm going to come over into a side bend. Just looking underneath my armpit. This arm is on the floor. Reaching over for my toes. Think about lengthening here as opposed to just dropping. Really keep that spine nice and long. Reaching. Good. Turn the chest towards the knee. Slowly come up to center. Let's change arms. So, leaning over. Reaching long. Now turn the chest to the shoulder, reach the hands for the toes. Inhale, exhale, up to centre. Good. Let's just quickly give the shoulders a good stretch. So take the arm overhead. I mean, not overhead, over chest. Okay, so important here. We often find ourselves like twisting in the spine, twisting the torso. So if you notice that you're doing that, just pull the shoulder back, so that they're back in line with each other. Take the arms overhead, switch sides. Again, shoulders pulled back, so they are still in line with each other. And just give it a good pull. All right, thank you very much for joining. 
I hope that you have fun with it this week. You can leave comments and um, have a lovely, uh, well, have a lovely Easter weekend, a long weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>